Hey Drone Nerds, Matt here. Today, I'm going to answer the top 10 most common questions about DJI's newest drones in the agriculture series, the DJI Agris T25 and the T50. The first question we get all the time here at Drone Nerds about the T25 and the T50 is, how many acres can the T25 and the T50 spray? The T25 with its 20 liter tank can spray 30 acres per hour, while the T50 has a 75 liter tank can spray 50 acres per hour. The second question we get a lot is, what is the effective spray width of both of these drones? At 9.8 feet above the crops, the T25 has an effective spray width of 13 feet all the way up to 22.9 feet. And the T50 has an effective spray width of 13 feet all the way up to 36 feet. The next question we get all the time is, can I pre-plan a spraying mission and calculate how much liquid will be sprayed? Yes, you can. Utilizing DJI Smart Farm, you can do a virtual simulation of flight missions in order to see how much will be sprayed or spread during your mission. The next question we get is, what happens when my T25 or T50 runs out of liquid? Will I know? What happens next? So there's a liquid level indicator on the top right of the display screen for your remote control. When the drone runs low on liquid or runs out of liquid, you will get an alert and the drone will return to home per your pre-flight mission planning settings. The next question is about charging. What generator is best suited for charging batteries on the T25 and the T50? So for the T25, DJI's D6000i multifunction inverter generator is the best choice if T25 is the only size aircraft you have for spraying. T25's DB800 flight batteries can charge with an ultra fast charging setting, completing charging in just nine minutes. For the T50 batteries, the best generator charger for it is DJI's D12000 IE multifunctional inverter generator charging DB1560 batteries with the air-cooled heat sinks in just nine minutes with ultra-fast charging mode. Now, you can also use the D12000IE for T25 batteries, I should also note. The next question is, what kind of obstacle sensing does the T25 and the T50 have? Now, both of these drones are equipped with dual phase array radar, providing 360 degree obstacle detection, as well as two sets of binocular vision to accurately sense terrain and depict obstacles in detail for obstacle avoidance. Our next most asked question is, what happens if my remote loses connection to my drone when spraying? So if your drone loses connection for any reason, you can choose in your pre-flight checklist to either hover or return to home. Next on the list is, what is the size of the T25 and T50 for transportation? The T25 dimensions folded for transport is 3.44 feet by 2.26 feet by 2.69 feet. And the T50 dimensions folded for transport is 3.65 feet by 2.46 feet by 2.95 feet. And just for easy reference, I drive a Jeep Wrangler four-door, and with the seats folded down, I can easily fit a T50 in the back, along with four to eight batteries, remote, and plug-in charger. Next question is, can the spraying or spreading system on these drones disperse powder-type fertilizer? And the answer to that question is, no, they cannot. Only liquid with the spray tank or with the optional spreading tank, both drones can spread dry granules from 0.5 to 5 millimeters. Finally, how do I learn more about the capabilities of these new drones from DJI? And is there any way to figure out what my return on investment will be before I make an investment? And the answer to that question is absolutely. Here at Drone Nerds, we can answer all of your questions when it comes to choosing an aircraft for your operation. We can also create reports demonstrating ROI utilizing your data. Here at Drone Nerds, we don't just sell you a drone. We help set you up for success and longevity in developing a UAV program. If you have any questions, you can put those down in the comments or reach out to us by clicking the link in the description. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. From all of us here at Drone Nerds, happy flying.